the Fish in Canada show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. Stearns, the light jacket experts. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Today's Fish in Canada episode promises to show you a different side of what we encounter on some of our shoots. Now, it may come as a bit of a surprise to some of you. After all, most people think that as fishing television hosts, everything comes easy, right? Wrong. In this particular episode, we've hit Mother Nature's mother load of bad weather and water conditions, which are both a way out of whack. It can be sunny and hot in one minute and freezing cold the next. What did we start up today? Uh, what was the high we did today? 21 degrees today, and we just hit zero. And we're still driving north for another hour and a half. Look at the size of those flakes, dude. <laughs> a couple of years ago, we fished the Attawapas Captor Pike with great success. The reason being, the conditions were perfect. Nice, warm spring days, ideal water temps, and a slow, meandering current. On this trip, though, we were a bit worried. Reports have it that conditions are not perfect. The flight went great, and in fact, the weather was definitely turning to the better. There's something about flying over northern Ontario that really calms and yet excites an angler at the same time. Our destination, Eddie North's Attawapiskat Adventures, is a very rustic style hunting and fishing camp. If you're looking for absolute luxury with every amenity available, then this is not for you. However, if you are looking for a no-frills, affordable camp that is situated in some of Ontario's most pristine pike and walleye waters, then this is definitely for you. It didn't take long for Angie and I to figure out that something wasn't quite right. We just didn't know what, until it finally clicked. The water levels looked high. There was no worn shoreline to speak of, and the brush and foliage was right at and into the water's edge. Well, at least there's life. This is fight. There's a walleye. Is it? It's a snake. The little wee little snake. Fighter. A walleye-sized snake. Yeah. Boy, that water is frigid in the hand. That's the way I want to hook the big ones right there. That's what you need for bait. Yeah. Whoa, little one. You know what? There's life on this point. Yeah. The last place you'd think, eh, compared to? Compared to what we would normally fit. Yeah, we just go in that bay and think you'd hammer them. Yeah. Well, it's all up and down, huh? Is Rocks, that? weeds, up and down, 10 feet on one side, seven feet, six feet on the other wow, side. Yeah, I just went over another boulder right here. Maybe it's boulders. Could be. They're, they're holding heat, maybe, eh? Yeah, could be. Knowing that the conditions were less than perfect, we rigged up a variety of baits, both in terms of size and actions. Under these circumstances, it's important that an angler lets the fish dictate what's going to work, not the other way around. That big back bay? I'm not sure I want to go back up into this stuff. Once we investigated the water levels, we found out that, in fact, they were six feet higher than normal and rising. Not a good thing. The situation couldn't have been any worse, or so we thought. We came into this back bay in hopes of finding maybe a two or even a four degree variance in temperature, but so far, it's the same as the main lake, which yeah. means we just have to work that much harder. That's a good looking yeah, pike. He doesn't even know yet. No, he's not even started on you yet, buddy. <laughs> he's a, a long, long skinny fish. pike. Look at that, he's got no body, but look at the head on him. Wow. Look at this we'll thing. What am I going to do with it? Because you know he's not ready. I know. I don't, I don't Although, know. Although, you know what? For the cradle, he might he might just lay there for us, huh? You ready? Swim him in there. Swim him in there. Pull him up ahead. There you go. There he wow. goes. Wow. He hasn't done that anything. That is wild. Oh, God. <laughs> now, we've said it a hundred times on the show. When temperatures are this low for this fish, and we're in 48 degree water, fish basically get shut down during these times. There he goes. See you, buddy. Wow. I guess he caught a flash of that bait and just yeah. decided my last meal before it's, uh, it's time to go to bed. Let's get back at the green stuff. 
Today's northern pike fishing took place on the Attawapiskat River in northern Ontario. To get there from Toronto, we took Highway 400 north to Highway 11. We headed northwest to Highway 584 at Geraldton. From there, we drove north to the town of Nikina and finally took Cordingley Lake Road to the Nikina Air Seaplane Base. From there, we flew into Eddie North's Attawapiskat Adventures Camp on Bateau Lake. So, first we've determined that the water levels are off the chart and in fact higher than they've been in decades, which puts one foot in the grave. But now we also discovered that the water temps have plummeted lower than pre-spawn and we're well past the actual spawn period. That thud you just heard was foot number two. We're six feet under and the preacher's saying a few last words. What this equates to, my fishing friends, is exactly what we were referring to at the head of the show. It's not all laid out on a platter for the Fishing Canada boys. We've got ourselves some serious work ahead. Just as we expected, the big northerns of the Attawapiskat were playing hard to get. Very much unlike our last trip, hammer handles in the shallows are commonplace in almost all pike areas, no matter what the conditions. And they end up driving you nuts when you're hunting for a 40 plus inch monster. With the fishing conditions being so horrible, I'm always in the mind frame to undersize my presentation. Normally, a little five inch suspending minnow bait will coax in all size fish, even the giants. And he's from the school of yeah. go big or stay home. Yes. Good. Oh, nice <laughs> Did you see him come out of the water for it? <laughs> now we're rocking. We found a little sweet spot in a bay, and I've got Petey throwing a giant tube. He's a hard man to commit, but an easy man to convert. He's fighting good. There he is. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. That's nice. Big fatty. It's, it's just short fatty. Look short at that. Short fatty. Look at, oh, look at how white yeah. he is, bud. <laughs> look at, where's my tube? I don't see it. Look, the back of, look at the jig. The hook's not in a match. Oh, yeah. Get that cradle out. Yeah, we He's not even to... hooked. There he goes. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, bring him in. Whoa, he's going to shore. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. There bring him comes. in, bring him in. Keep, keep him coming. Keep him coming. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there you go. Oh man, tube is out. Tube is out. I told you, out. I told you he wasn't hooked. This fish we caught without hooking him. If you want to do a spin a Rooney completely, yeah, I'll give him to you. I'd like to see what like these. Yeah, this we could probably is. put him on the on the stick somehow because yeah. he's not very long. Oh god, he's he gone. He got right out of the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. nice stuff. Oh, that was thick, man. And he did strong. not have the bait. He didn't have the hooks in him. No. He didn't even have the bait he out. He had the leader. The leader was through his mouth. And that was it. And never opened his mouth once for that fight. <laughs> Whoa, there he is. Got him, boys. Whoa, oh, it's a big oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big one. Right off this? We just said this is what it takes. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, that's Look nice. at the size of this thing. Right off this grass patch. This thing is that incredible. That is insane. I've never seen anything like this. That is insane. He's a fruit. <laughs> He's gonna go crazy. Oh, Whoa, yeah! Oh, man, look <laughs> man, he, he hit it right at the boat, too, buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got him. You're in there, town. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. This is a big fish. This is huge. This is like a big old melon head. <laughs> This is a sample of what you can get and better. How's that? There she is. She's gonna go soon. It's all a bonus right now. I'll get, up, I'll get out underneath her belly here. You got her? I got just a little bit. She's gonna go soon, so look She's at that, buddy. Go Way big to go. Time. She's gonna Gorgeous go. fish. Put her down, buddy. You got her. There you go, baby. Watch this. She's just gonna go cruising out of here. Up to go, baby. See ya. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Big old log. <laughs> oh. I love seeing that. See that? She just cruised off into the weeds. <laughs> Fist pump. Yeah, Sweet. baby. Sweet. Good job, buddy. That is a blast. Good that job. That is a blast. I don't care if you have to travel a day or two to wow. get that quality oh, of fish. You know in. what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you got to fly up to get it, you fly up to get oh. it. Woo. Sometimes in fishing, things just can't be explained. One minute, you'll beg, borrow, and steal to get a bite. And then all of a sudden, the tide turns and the fish bite everything in sight. Whoa, it's a big one! With the fishing now revving up, we decided to expand our little fishing area to the surrounding shorelines. We expected more fish to move in and start feeding, but our expectations were let down. Believe it or not, our little weedy point that produced about 90% of our good bites was our ultimate saving grace. Whoa, buddy! <laughs> 
We're going to pull and drag now. That was my fish. He was short. That was, that was my fish. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> okay, he might be. I got to uh, keep him under the boat. Hilarious. There he is. There's the bait. Oh, it's way up the line. Look at this. Oh, he shot the bait up the line. Look at that. Look at this. I got to get this line, the, the tube he's down some, now. He's got some marks on his back. Huh? Yep. That boy's been caught a few times, I would imagine. Yeah. Come on, baby. Get that cradle yeah, down deep. Yeah. Down low. Uh, there you go. You got him. Beautiful. How bizarre was that? Uh, you know what? I don't I don't know how that even happened. <laughs> he swirled on Ange's bait, and my bait was over to the right. All of a sudden my bait was underneath Ange's bait. <laughs> and then this guy took mine. Nice job, Mr. Viola. Nice. We've go. actually discovered a grassy underwater point that's slightly different than the rest of the bay. And that, my friends, makes all the difference. And not just for pike. Subtle differences are what it takes in order to overcome extremely negative fishing conditions. There you go, oh, buddy. Figured... Look how damaged that thing is. Yeah. Man. He's how either awesome been fighting with another, with another fish I or... I can feel his belly squeezing wow. out. Nice stuff. That's teeth. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? That's teeth. Who eats those things, eh? A bigger pike, that's good. <laughs> a lot of people don't use tubes for, uh, for pike. And... Here's a good example as to why you should. The thing about using big tubes like this for pike is that you can slow the presentation down to a crawl. I mean, that thing just it's like a, It's like a, a jerk bait almost, yeah. isn't it? You, know, yeah. you use a tube, it's and too great, big in the bulk. Great when they're, when they're a little lethargic. Oh, they also yeah. work good when they're aggressive, obviously. That guy <laughs> yeah. banged mine, banged into that. Yeah, I, I mean, these baits it. just, they barely sink. You can, it, it almost floats there like that. When yeah. you give it a pop, a lot of times then it gets a little slow drop, see the Lord. water comes out of it like that. You give it a jerk, it comes back up, and then it slowly goes back down. And for the fish that are not going crazy, it's a pretty bizarre yeah. technique, but it works. Yeah, I mean, Ange has been using it for a couple of years now. And, works great. And the one he's throwing today is, is what, three Bigger inches longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, it's a massive, but you know what? These fish up here, they- Good for a workout though, kid, eh? <laughs> Gets the old shoulder work. You sleep at night when you go back to the camp. Wow. Finally, the weather looks like it's starting to turn. You'd be surprised at what a warm, sunny day can do for spring pike. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> you got him, buddy? Yeah, he's on, bud. I saw his tail coming up on that. It was the only indication. He's a long fish, eh? Long and skinny again. Yeah, again. Wow. <laughs> Boy, he's being very cooperative, isn't he? Oh my God. Almost too much so. Coming at you. I'm gonna just sort of hold the cradle as yep. still as I can. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> Shark! <laughs> you know what, that's a stocky big boy right there. <laughs> okay, your bait So far, buddy. you know. I'm gonna throw this bait behind you, okay? Hang yeah, on. go ahead, throw it behind you. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, I'd like to get a look at that fish, but he's a good one. That's the biggest pike we've got this year so far. You got it? I got this end of it. Yeah. Well, she's blind to one eye, buddy. That's, that's why I hit your bait. She's why he's on the wrong side of her. <laughs> that's what it was. I was on the wrong side of her. There we go. Look at that fish. That's a piker. <laughs> it's, you know, he's skinny, but he's a gorgeous. Beautiful gorgeous fish, isn't he? Fish, Big head. Look at the size of that head, Pete. Yeah, that's the thing. The wow. heads of these fish are incredible. <laughs> rope, rope. <laughs> the wall. You okay? Yeah, I think so, buddy. Lovely. Look at that head. Look at that blind eye. You <laughs> big beast. Whoa. Oh, yeah. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's just you a know. predator right there. You can say what you want about the much maligned pike, but they have got to be the sportiest fish in our waters. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, bass is fine, and walleye is great, and musky, and salmon. But a big snake like that, a big gator, you you got to be kidding me if you don't think that's a great sport fish bed. Wow. wow. Awesome. Woo! Today's hot spot is a bay off the Attawapiskat River north of Bateau Lake. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. We fished this bay in extreme high and cold water conditions and did very well. So, in perfect conditions, this place would rock. If the fishing is tough, try giant tubes or other slow-moving plastics like we were using. In optimum conditions, throw any big pike and musky lures and hang on. For more hotspots like this one, check out FishingCanada.com. The Fishing Canada Show. 
brought to you in part by Sale, the outdoors superstore. Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters.